Okay, come. There you go, boy. Shake it off first. Shake it off. Yeah. Good boy. Stick it around. Good boy. Go see mommy. Go see mommy. Yes. Okay. Now she's back up to a nice rolling boil again. It's going down, eh? We're getting through the sap? Well, we've gone through what? Almost two full pots now. Two full buckets, right? You mean the white buckets? Yeah. yeah. So we'll have quite a bit more than our uh, first initial test batch. I think so. Oh yeah. This stuff's already dark, getting dark because it's uh, concentrating down. Well, has Jake been keeping you good company? Yeah, when he's when he's been sticking around. Yeah. He's out. Oh, there he is.
What are you getting there, Jake? So it's been another day of boiling sap, tending fire. And there's uh, quite a few of our subscribers now are tuning into our live stream, and that's nice to see. And we've got a nice little regular group of people that seem to stop on by, eh? Yes. Nice group of people. And we have some good good conversation and talk about this and that and stuff around the cabin and nature and wildlife and and uh, some other things too. <laughs> some types of topics. Topics can roll roll and uh, pretty interesting sometimes. Good folks. Good time to chill. We have a nice fire that's that's uh, keeping everybody company. And we do appreciate you stopping by. Have you, have you had uh, enough running around? Huh? Not yet? You almost ready to go in the house? Hey, that's my glove. Where do you think you're going with my glove? Huh? <laughs> eh? Where do you think you're going with my glove? Hey! Hey, that's my glove! Hey, where are you going with my glove? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. That's, hey, that's my glove. I want my glove. Oh, come on. I want it. Ugh. Hey, that's my glove. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. Hey, bring it. I'm not pulling her out. Come on, bring it. Come on. I want my glove. I have to bring the fire. Good boy. Great game. Bring it. Bring it here. To me, I mean. You're taunting me. It's a big game. Come on, let's go. Bring me my glove. Bring me my glove. This way. Come here. Bring it. I got the stick. I got a stick. Come on. Okay, I got the stick. Look, I got the stick. Come on. I got the stick. That's my glove. Huh? That's my That's my glove. That's that glove. Jesus, my God. This is your stick. This is your stick. Huh? Okay, let go. Let go. Let go. Good boy. Okay, you ready to get it? Ready? Go get it. Jeanette said they're water resistant. Still going. Let's see, okay, you ready? Go get it. Good boy. Let's bring it. Bring it. Yeah, you got it. Okay, let go. You ready? Go get it. Bring it here. Bring it. Good boy. Ah, yeah. Okay, let go. Good boy. Okay, you ready? Ready? Go get it. Bring it. Bring it. Come on, firewood dog. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it.
So we filled up the sap pot once again. And to be honest, it's been a sporadic year in this area. It's a microclimate here. And uh, it's been sporadic with the sap. We were really hoping that it would run nice and steady and we have a good, you know, three weeks or a month of uh, sap running out of the trees, but we've had cold snaps and mild spells and back to cold snaps. And the weather can't really make up what its mind what it wants to do. So it is what it is, and uh, we'll continue to collect the sap for the next week or so and see how things go. So we're just going to let this boil a little bit longer and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. Hey guys, it's a new day, and uh, just getting the fire set again, and we collected some more sap today, and we've uh, been boiling down, as you saw, our, uh, our sap as it's coming out of the trees. And uh, it is still running, not running very fast. And uh, it's snowing right now, light flurries. It uh, got up to about four degrees Celsius today. And uh, it's probably gonna fall below freezing again tonight, which is a good thing for the sap production. So we'll, we'll just keep on going. And we're gonna boil down uh, where we left off and we're gonna add in uh, some more sap from today's um, gathering and collecting. So we have tapped our trees. We uh, set the taps in, the spiles, uh, into the tree and uh, tapped it in gently so we wouldn't crack the trees as we did so. We uh, tapped the southern side of the tree where the sun shines and uh, warms that part of the tree up through the day which helps the sap to uh, go up and down the tree and uh, try to you know get the most out of the sap that is running and uh, we tap the uh, we tap the trees just above a major root or just below a major branch and uh, hopefully that'll help yield some good results as well So what are your plans for doing a maple syrup this time? We only had a small batch last time. We got enough for about four servings of pancakes and it was quite thick. And this time we probably won't reduce it to quite that thickness. But uh, so what are your plans on doing this time? One large jar or a bunch of small ones or how, 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 how do you go about doing it? Well, I was going to use 250 milliliter jars, possibly do a few 125 milliliter jars for gifts because I don't think there's going to be very much maple syrup. So I'll sterilize the jars and have the syrup being a thinner syrup than this time so we can filter it easily into the sterilized jars. And then I'll seal them up and put them away. Yeah, that's enough of a boil. Leave the lid off. I'm 
wasn't expecting more snow this late in the season. A few more days of snow. That's okay though, if it keeps snowing, the sap will keep running. If the sap keeps running, we'll get more maple syrup. Yeah, it's just as well it's not all rain anyway. A lot of people are experiencing a lot of rains now. The milder temperatures and you know we're into some people are into flood conditions depending on where they are so we're fortunate here hey we got a good steam going on now we got a nice rolling boil going It's another day of <coughs> sap boiling time. Making the maple syrup. Once you start on it, start collecting. You're committed. It does take time and takes energy and effort. Your local manufacturers of maple syrup, they earn their keep. The syrup is worth every penny. A lot of people think of it as being free maple syrup. Right, you're making your own syrup out of the tree. Hey, it's free. Well, if you had to purchase the wood, the fuel, it doesn't take long for those costs to add up. 
And if your time is worth something to you, then of course that's another investment. There's other things that we could be doing and really should be doing, but it's maple sap time and that window of opportunity opens and then it closes. If you don't act on the opportunity, you miss it. And I'd much rather have the uh, memory of knowing that uh, we tried to take advantage of the opportunity, seize the opportunity when it was there in front of us, rather than live with the regret of not having it, having done it. There's other things we can do in between the sap boiling too. It's just you got to keep keep it in the forefront. You got to keep the fire stoked up. You, you don't want to lose your boil. It takes too much wood to get the boil going back again. So anyway, we're getting there. We're pretty well at the uh, pretty well now at the at the finishing point, coming towards the end. Okay, so we've been reducing down the sap and it's ready for finishing. We're going to uh, filter it another time, one more time. So we filtered it about, what, four, five times now? Yeah, yeah at least five. So. Well, we'll get a couple jars out of it, that's for sure. It's cycling between 217 and 219, or I don't think it, there's 220, it just hit 220 for a second. So it's cycling between 217 and 220, that's fine. As you may be able to see from the bubbles, it's very close to being done. Watch. Yep, it's ready. We'll filter it through while it's really hot. This in here. Start filtering while it's nice and hot.
Well, that's it for the, the maple sap boiling for this round anyway. We've got another batch on the go, and after that, that may be it for the season. Uh, the temperatures are getting quite warm through the day now, and uh, I imagine the buds will be coming out in the trees pretty soon. That'll just make the sap more bitter. So, but we'll be we'll be testing and monitoring it. We may get another run yet. So, but uh, that's it for this uh, for this here boil. And it looks like we got a good few good servings, eh? I think and so. It'll last a little while for us, and looking forward to to tasting that on some more pancakes and uh, some more meals in the future. So stay tuned for that. And please subscribe, comment, like, and share if you like this video. And uh, don't forget to hit that little gray notification bell for updates on our uh, future live streams and future updates of cabin life. What do you think, honey? Been fun? It's been an experience. It's been fun. Um, little successes, right? Yep. We did hold, it. Hold the jar out in front of you proudly. It's pretty hot. <laughs> oh, is it still real hot? It's still real hot. Okay, well, don't burn yourself. You can put it down now. <laughs> All right, folks. That's it for this edition of Cabin Life. I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. Over and out. Take care. Say bye, Jake. Where's Jake? Oh, you're a good boy. Yeah.